KSLA News 12 starts now with breaking news. Um, the members of this school board who have voted to circumvent this process have all committed malfeasance in office. After three months of flawed and unfair processes, you finally got your man. This particular candidate is the only one I've ever had the opportunity to see, and I've been here for a while, to see rise through the ranks, demonstrate who they are, and then become the superintendent. The school board has spoken, voting 9-2, to two, selecting Keith Burton, the new superintendent of Caddo Schools. People packed the Caddo Parish School Board Chamber as the community voiced their concerns before the board voted on the lone candidate for superintendent. I'm Bisky Duncan and you're watching KSLA News 12 at 5 and we are giving you the first alert to our top story that we have been following since the process started to select a new superintendent for Caddo Parish. Now the journey went through the school board, the community and even into a Caddo Parish courtroom and KSLA News 12's Tamer Knight was in the chamber today when the school board made their decision. So Tamer, tell us what happened. Bisky, the wrong road to finally announce Keith Burton as the superintendent of Caddo Parish School Board has been long. Now today we were a part of a special session meeting that started at 1.30 and ended roughly around 4 o'clock when they announced that Burton had been an elected as the superintendent. Now, public comments were allowed before the meeting actually started and a lot of members of the community showed up to voice their concerns about the process of Burton being elected. Now, a lot of people have told me that their issue isn't with Keith Burton. In fact, it's the issue that he was the lone candidate for the position. Now, others also spoke out and said that they are all for Keith Burton and the process, and they wanted him to be elected as their superintendent. Now, after the public comments and a couple failed motions, there was a lot of talk about contract negotiations. Now, some people were concerned about the pay while others were concerned about the performance incentives and others were also concerned with the number of terms Burton will be allowed to serve. Well, after the attorney for Cattle Parish School Boards was able to negotiate with Burton, there has been some changes to his contracts that includes. Um, this process, as we've heard, has not been easy. It's not been easy for anyone. It's not been easy for the board. It's not been easy for this community, but I stand here in front of you today dedicated really to just one thing and that's uniting this entire community behind what's most important and that's the betterment of the boys and girls. Um, we can transform our challenges into opportunities and we can transform our dreams into realities if we will all come together on one simple page. Now, Burton's contract was renegotiated and he agreed to a three-year contract instead of a four, a $255,000 pay uh, salary for the year, and then also a increase to his performance incentives of $20,000 to $25,000 and also a change in his number of vacation days. Now, we will continue to follow the story and meet with Burton as he continues to make his way into his new role as superintendent of the Caddo Parish School Board. Reporting from Caddo Parish, I'm Tamer night KSLA News 12. Thanks Tamer and of course you can watch the school board meeting right now on our KSLA News 12 app and you can also read our full coverage about the intense search that challenged the superintendent search in a Caddo Parish courtroom.